They call this a museum? I've seen nicer exhibits and bathroom stalls at Grand Central Station. This tree reminds me of a bad dream I had last December. I think it was the nightmare before Christmas. Seeing this tree brings back the memories. I remember chilly November afternoons in the schoolyard, mocking that little bald-headed kid and his snoopy little dog. The wiring on this one definitely looks like pre-Ralph Nader. Maybe even pre the naughty twinkle in Ralph Nader's daddy's eye. I'm Duckman, ace action news reporter. What happened here? And don't spare the ugly details, ma'am. I'm a trained professional. I'm hardened enough to handle just about anything. Unless it involves spiders or sweat-soaked shopping mall Santas. Oh dear, oh dear, it was horrible. It reminded me of that fire over at the shoelace factory back in 65, or that really big fire at the fire extinguisher company in 71. Let's try to be a little more descriptive. How exactly did the fire start? Well, first there was smoke, and then everything got so dark, it was terrible. I knew when it first came out that this electricity was a bad idea. You wait. Next, that wheel will start acting up. I'm not happy here, Turkey Neck. Look at this face. This is not the face of a happy action news reporter. I'm going to need some details here. Cold, hard facts. So cough them up, Cha-Cha. Well, if you insist. Oh, but I do. It all started when I was testing the lights on this tree over here. It used to belong to that nice young man in Waco, Texas. Yes, I'm on pins and needles. Do continue. I was bending over, and a little squirt of denture cream dribbled out of my mouth and fell on the wires. Then there were sparks and fire and smoke. Thank goodness the fireman's school next door put the fire out. It's not something I ever want to see again in my lifetime. That covers us until when? Next week? I'm still not getting the full picture here. Do you think you could show me exactly what you did again? Well, I do have a few more doses of my heart medication left. I guess I could give it a try. That's the spirit, Granny! Now hop to it! As I said, I was testing the lights on this tree. And as soon as I plugged them in... <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, hurry! Save the trees! Someone call the fire department! You call this a fire? This is nothing! You just relax. I'll be back in a minute. Fire! We got a fire! What should I do? Makeup! Fluffer! What should I do? Not so fast. You're a newsman, remember? Now get back in there and let's try it again. Pretty darn lucky, if you ask me. A fire starting right out here on exam day. Do you figure we're going to get graded on this? Only if that fire truck shows up. We've got nothing to pump without it. What are we supposed to do, spit it out? The school's supposed to have its own truck, but those darn federal cutbacks. Okay, we're on. Let's get to pumping. I just hope this isn't a milk truck again. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duckman reporting from... And I bet I'm not on the air anymore, am I? Blast it! There's no wonder there was a fire in here. This place isn't exactly up to code. There aren't even any sprinklers, or even a moist towelette. Oh dear, there's never been any problem before, and the fireman's school is right next door. Ah! 
It's always been a fantasy of mine to dress up like a policeman and pull over a speeding fire engine. I'd walk up to the driver and say, Okay, buddy, where's the fire? It's an official firefighter's ladder. Me being able to get my career back is quite a reach, so I'll need this. It's closed. Great! And me with a hankering for some teriyaki beef jerky. It's closed. Great! This gasoline tanker is ready to deliver fuel to gas stations across this great nation of ours. To gas stations where just touching the key to the bathroom will give you a case of the drooping violets. No, thank you. Luckily, I've outgrown setting gas stations and oil refineries on fire. Now, if I could just get a handle on my pension for peeping into retirement home windows. I need this, I think. This should dress it up nicely. Oh yeah, that's good. It's the can of Sprite. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, a can of fire engine red paint. I wonder if I'll ever need this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This should help the cause. It reminds me of the time that fortune teller asked if I wanted my palm red. It's a discotronic light hat, a fashion accessory for the socially inept and handy in a pinch for directing traffic. It's that do. This'll be a nice touch. That's also what Uncle Saul said. Now it's got emergency vehicle written all over it. Just like my inflatable sausage. Now we're in business! If looks count for anything in this rancid, ugly world we live in, this looks like a fire truck. So, I forget. How did that fire start again? Oh dear, I'd really rather not. Remember, you took the museum curator's oath to advise and inform when you took this job. And besides, if you don't do what I say, we'll get to wrestling. Oh dear. All righty then. Oh dear! Oh dear! My trees! My trees! The fire's going! This is gonna be a good one! Well, get in there and inform the masses. 
Let's get this puppy into position. I don't think I've seen this truck before. Just hook her up and let's go. The teacher might be watching. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duckman reporting from... The trade papers love you, Ducky Hauser. Here, take a gander. Oop, sorry. Holy smokes, I'm on fire! Here he is, here's the man! Woo, woo, woo! Good work, Duck Master General. You the man! I called over to Paramount and you're in! Go for it, dude! Hey, Manny Many Folds, go on and check your stinking list. You know what's gonna be on that high and mighty, dearly beloved piece of crap sheet of paper? My name, me! No need. Just got in a memo saying the list has been discontinued. You look honest enough. Go on in. Look at the list. Look at the list. Look at it. Or I swear by all that's holy, I'll squeeze the cream filling right out of you. Oh, yes, here you are, silly me. <laughs> right between dangerous psychopath and raving lunatic. Go on in. Home away from home. It doesn't look like things have changed much since I've been gone. Those Star Trek freaks are still filming on the next soundstage. Beam them the hell out of here, Scotty! King Chicken, please report to... Is this thing on? What? Yeah, I turned that knob. Hey, hands off! I was gonna eat that later! <clears throat> King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. That is all. Over and out. Better be that insipid arms dealer. Oh, dread. What's that combination again? Yeah, what is it? No, you moron! I said I wanted Soviet tank missiles, not Alaskan king crabs. How am I supposed to conquer the world with a bucket of seafood? Give your nephew a job, she said. How much trouble could he cause, she said. Bucking relatives. Oh, that was close. He almost saw me. It's Wacky Putty! Good for making impressions of your favorite cartoon characters. Hours This wa- This wa- This wa- This wacky putty is very This this wa This wa I hope King Chicken makes a good impression on this. It's a public telephone! It's teeming with more germs than Dennis Robbins' pillowcase! 25 cents to make a stinking telephone call? That's too frickin' much! Why, I pay less than that for a night of tawdry solicitation. What the hell? King Chicken's got a 50-foot trailer! I can't believe that! When I was still on the show, I only had a 10-footer. I was the star of the stinking show! 
If I still had a contract, I'd tear it up and renegotiate! That's King Chicken's Roast! I can use this number on any telephone to order stacks of sizzling pizza! Yellow, Dante's Pizza. I want... What? King Chicken's Trailer? Why, yes it is. And yes, that would make me King Chicken. Buck, buck. I demand to order a pizza. And I want everything on it. Onions, pepperoni, sausage. Buck, buck. I want every single topping. I want the world. And send some extra napkins. King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. Note to self, mercilessly tortured gate guard. Now, what's that bucking combination again? Arr, what is this, a bucking joke? Some infidel left the likeness of my most hated foe upon my buck, buck doorstep. I've crushed you, Duckman. I've stumped you flat. <laughs> what? No, you nitwit. No pizza. The only thing I've ordered lately is your wet and painful death. The combination that he had written on his foot is now in my hand. Now to find out what that heel is up to. This place reeks of evil. Either that or King Chicken had the fish for lunch. King Chicken uses this phone to help hatch his half-baked evil plots. I'd like to yank this thing out of the wall and wrap the cord around King Chicken's fat neck. But I'm too afraid. Not of King Chicken, but of Pacific Bell. Wow, when King Chicken decides to make a date, he doesn't fool around. I should trash all this junk. That would teach King Chicken a lesson. But not like the lesson Mrs. McPhilbrain taught me in the eraser banging room back at Rashburn Junior High. Oh, baby, she made a man out of me! I'll never forget the cute way her Adam's apple used to bob up and down when she said my name. Let's see what sort of evil King Chicken is up to this week. Arch-villains always lay out their evil plans on drawing boards like this. Let's see what that tub of corruption King Chicken is up to. <laughs> so that explains why he makes so much damn noise when he walks. The new duck man is a killer robot. He's got a machine gun built into his arm and a beak full of bullets. He's insane! He's got a season pass to Looneyville! King Chicken is planning on killing my family on stage in the very next scene! Scene 14 is now filming! All actors in scene 14, please report to the stage! 14? That's the scene where King Chicken's hunk of junk robot is programmed to kill my family! I've gotta stop this, now! Get your feathered keista in here, Duckman, and be quiet. Your scene is next. Look alive, everybody, and that means you, Miss Claudette Colbert. This is the new Duckman show. Episode 16, scene 14 tape is rolling, you rotten sons of bees. 
While the new Duckman is off saving the world, let's spend some quality time together. Yeah, turn on the TV, Ajax. Yeah. <laughs>